We want him to do a lot of damage. And I think that uh, Storm Waltz will actually do more damage this time. If anything does. Storm Waltz! Luckily, the double buster put on Junior will help me out with this in the long run. Because I want him to kill the guy. Right? That's the idea. Ugh, and now I can't boost because you freaking boosted. And... Ugh, I'm just gonna need to use an ether pack, unfortunately. I don't have... Well, actually, I have a ton of them. Yeah, use one of my 87 of them. See how that works out for you. It gives them 20. Ah, God, it does not heal nearly as much as I would like. And he gets a critical, of course he does, even though it's not a critical time. And I'm gonna need to heal again! Hooray for healing! Ethan! Now, because Junior does have a couple boosts, Really, I'm really happy that he gets that boost. In fact, that's the only one the critical system. He'll probably get a second boost here. No, probably not. But. Uh, and of course, he gets a counter boost, and he defended against my move. This guy's being a dick today. Absolute dick. Man, just go ahead and punch him in the face. That's what you're good at, isn't it, Diamond? Okay, he's got 927. Uh, I should be good here. Uh, we haven't seen... Well, haven't we seen? Heaven's Wrath. Wow, that did crap. Have we seen Heaven's Wrath? I think we have. It doesn't do that much damage. Of course, this guy gets to go twice now. Because he counter it. But as long as he... Yeah, as long as he doesn't hit Shion twice, which he didn't. He only hit her once. He should be good, unless he gets another move. And even then, I should be okay. I should be fine. Oh, wow. Okay, he's got 668. I might be able to do this here. Let's go for Spell Ray. Nope. Nope, not gonna be able to do it. Okay, we'll, we'll do this. If he didn't counter, I might have been able to finish him off and get the points. I am going to try to get the points. I don't know how much out of my way I'm going to go in order to try to do that. Though. If you could hit Junior, that'd be really good. Thank you. See, I could easily finish him off here. He's going to go. I'm going to hold off, and I'm going to risk it. Are you kidding me? Oh well. No, I got I, I got a few of those. I got a few of them. Okay, so you're gonna go next. You need to use an item. You need to use a revive on Shion. Here. Then Junior gets to go. Since I already killed him with Shion, I have to kill him with Junior this time. Hopefully we can do it. Cross shot. Prelude to battle. Moonlit Sand. Just need like 15 points here. 222. Down he goes. Give me my points. Points times four. I will take it. Down goes Tiamat. I still don't know how to say it. But I get my damn points anyway. Points times four. And I get. Holy crap, do I get a lot of points. <laughs> oh, jeez. Look at that. Level ups, I think, across the board. 240, 213, 160. Ridiculous. And we got another attack for Chaos. He got Arctic Blast, which, of course, is an ice move that we may or may not see later on. They give you more text than you got slots. It becomes an issue, actually. So you have to pick and choose the ones you like and level them up and hope that they're useful later on. But we have defeated Diamond, and that probably took more than one video. And for that, I apologize, but what do you want me to say? It's technically more than one fight. He healed himself halfway through. What the hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I didn't get the other item, which is a B-Max Circuit, which is an A thing. But I'm okay with that. Ha <laughs> ha
the hell are we looking at here? We're, we're in like a desktop background. And we see the same... I am sorry, Xion. What? I know it was hard for you. But there are two of you. There's two Fabronias, and that's the what we're talking about. The woman sitting over there isn't me. What do you mean? It's just an image created for the girls. For the girls? An illusion. This is their world. Created solely for Cecily and Kath. Who the hell are Cecily and Kath? I am using Cosmos Encephalon construction abilities to show it to all of you. So but they seem to be so happy. Shut up, Alan. Would you say that if you were to see this? See what? <gasps> this is just an illusion that traps them here. A binding spell created by mankind to control the Zohar. Why are we controlling the Zohar? But as far as they know, this world is reality. Wait, this world or the I dream world thing? To release my sisters. Please. For the future of the Realians as well. The future of the Realians? Well. Not just for their future, but for the future of humans, non humans, and all matter of living consciousness. Feb and I can only exist in this world of consciousness. We can only come into contact with the real world for a short time. That is why I called for all of you, so that the future may be changed. Change? The future? Look. And now we're in space? How the hell are you controlling Cosmos this way? Just through consciousness? Milsha. That That's... Is... Cosmos? That's an upgraded Cosmos. Where'd you, where'd you get all that stuff and where can I find it? What are you doing? Are they firing that at her? I think they are, but she's firing right back. Down goes the whole star system. It's definitely a neighbor. The stream of energy is the consciousness known as Udu. 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 Udu was the source of the space-time anomaly that engulfed Milsha. 14 years ago. What you just saw was a vision of the future. Where Udu encounters Cosmos in the form in which she was meant to be. Udu will awaken soon. He feeds upon the consciousness of those who intend to awaken him. As well as those who wish to seek him. It's gonna wake up. Soon. Is that good or bad? Because it looks like the bad. The future you just saw is but one of an infinite set of potential phenomena. But that is this a disclaimer? Does not mean that the future is already set. Even the smallest of waves can spread throughout the whole. Butterfly effect. Phenomena change with every moment, just like a drifting wave. Are you saying? That we're that wave? Yet before it all begins, I wanted you to face your past. But I see you are not ready yet. I'm not ready. Did you see I'm what I did? Sorry. But why us? I took our time on. Xion, you were once touched by a gnosis. Huh? <laughs> Despite that, 
You remain unchanged, the same as before. That's true. That is why. That's why? Why? There will be a time when I can discuss why. Damn you! If you go back to Melsham, the place where it all began, then you will see. Wait! If you could give us a little more information about what the hell's going on, that'd be appreciated. Hope that you guys like the, the vague and kind of spiritual tone that the game seems to be taking on as of late. Talking about consciousness and whatever the hell Udu is, it, it engulfed the world. And now we go through the scary door once more. The hell is going on? Cosmos is up on a cross with electrical wiring. Cosmos, hit the on switch. Cosmos. Is it like behind your ear? So this is your. This is her what? How can she exist inside her? We shall be as gods. We shall be as gods. Disarming. Subconscious domain protection. How can she exist inside her own consciousness like that? So, so, how's everybody doing? You were all there with me, right? That wasn't a hallucination of mine? Cosmos? What the hell? What was that? How, how you doing, Cosmos? Long time no see. We've been, we've been doing some leveling up without you. You're gonna have to catch up. Morning. Cosmos? Good morning, Good morning, Xi'an. Yeah, it's still the same people. Well, looks like we all managed to make it back. Chief! <laughs> oh, I'm so relieved you're okay. Uh, Alan? Uh, why are you hugging me? This is weird. We're co-workers. He's starting to lay it out a little bit more. I, I don't think she's catching on at all, though. Not in the slightest. Wh okay, we're just all there. I present to you the memory bank data from the Anti-Gnosis Humanoid Weapons System KPX Cosmos. Protection level AAA, with no possibility of alteration. How's that even possible, really? Memory bank data accepted. Please remain within the Milshan star system until you're cleared of all charges. So, like, the Kukai Foundation moved to the Milshan star sh system? Because, I mean, the whole Kukai Foundation is there. You could actually see it sideways in the background. It was pretty sweet. Ew. Well, I am sure glad that escapade's over and done with. But not anymore. You don't look very happy. Did something happen? Huh? Yeah, what happened? I could say that. I Junior? still can't believe it. C could you explain? We've got another friend of yours to release too. Guinan? Uh, Master Guinan. Master Guinan! Oh. Uh, <laughs> so wait, maybe they're hey. with. You've done well. Aaron, shall we go around? No big deal. But it sure brought back a lot of bad memories. What was going on back there? Hey, Shia. That girl. No, tell me. She about... called herself Nephilim, right? Right. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes, but. Hmm. What's wrong? Well. 
If that girl is somehow connected to what I'm thinking of, then things are gonna get real busy real soon. You're thinking about the song, aren't you? It is named after her, after all. And we have heard people talk about it, so I don't know why he just doesn't say it. He doesn't want Shion to know, but we know. Dramatic irony. Why doesn't Name's she crying. like me? Wasn't she? She was. She tends to do that, especially during the thunder. Wait, now we're in a graveyard? I think that's only the second time I've ever seen her cry. Poor Kevin. Poor she on about Kevin. Poor Alan. <laughs> no matter what happens, she never shares her pain with anyone. It's times like these when I'm reminded that I'm nothing but a subordinate to her. You're just catching on to that now? I... I wish I could take her tears away. Maybe. Someday. You will, Alan. Someday. Easy for you to say. You don't know a thing about us. I'm sorry. It's just... Don't question chaos. I didn't mean to say that. We've only known each other for a short while. But I can see that you have a good heart, Alan. You're too nice, chaos. Mm. They're both nice. At times, it binds us. But still... We're still kind of surrounded and, you know, kind of held hostage or prisoner, however you want to put it, here in the Kukai Foundation. They are going a little bit back and forth on whether or not we're in the Kukai Foundation or in space, though. Of Cosmos subconscious domain records today, and the Federation fleet is preparing to leave the area. Hooray! The charges against Second Milsha and the Kukai Foundation will be officially dropped tomorrow. Say Udu. That's quite a job you pulled off there. We couldn't have done it without you. You have my thanks. <laughs> See, okay. So, Ms. Seriously, Junior. Series. Seems to be quite important. Oh, she's good. Yes. I doubt they'll stand by and let her go that easily. She smacks people with stars. It's better be careful. Right. Now, I wonder what they're going to try next. No, oh, he didn't say you do again. He says it better than anybody else. Udo. But what the hell is Udo? I can't believe I just handed over top secret company info to the Federation without permission. To save everybody's lives! I am so fired. I'm sure that one guy will understand. Whatever his name was. Did we ever find out the chairman's name or whatever his title is? Momo. I don't think we have. We might have. She looks so sad. Chief. So, um, why don't we go grab a bite to eat? Shelly told me about this great cafe. I'm sorry. I don't have much of an appetite right now. Oh, you look so sad. I guess I'm not quite myself either. And she doesn't even think twice about crushing the poor man's heart. <laughs> right in front of him, you can see the moment in which his heart breaks. Nephilim. Fabronia. And her sisters. What are their names again? I remember... What does she mean? I remember Kath, but I don't remember... Was it Kaylee? Release like that? them. Yeah, wh what is she talking about? And Cosmos and Udu. Cosmos is the only thing I'm familiar with there. All this facing the past stuff. What... What am I supposed to do? You're supposed to accept your memories. That's what, oh. that's what she said. I don't really know don't what that means. I don't understand any of it. Yeah, me neither, really. Do you always sleep on top of the covers in your work uniform, though? Because that's all I've ever seen you in. 
I was a little too cold towards Alan earlier. I better apologize to him in person. She's starting to think about Alan. Oh my God, this is, this is a huge movement forward in their relationship. I wonder where he went. He went everywhere and nowhere. And because it is peacetime and we are controlling Xi'an, we get more emails. We're gonna get quite a few emails though. Pretty much this time, we can go back to the Encephalon. Damn near immediately. I don't know why I would necessarily want to, but you could. You could. It's there for you, waiting for you, if, if, if you want it. Do you have anything new to say? Your friend, the little runt, is a bit of a punk. I think he's talking about Junior. Could be Alan, though. He's not necessarily little, except in terms of personality, maybe. He just, he's just nice. He's identifiable, really. He's, he's the guy got a crush on his boss, though. Kind of weird. But now that we are here, who are you looking for? We are looking for Alan. You don't want to talk to him just yet, though. In fact, what we are going to do is we are going to head to the game room. Because here, not only is there a save point, but there's a save point with the environmental simulator, which means that I can go back to another time and place, really just place, and I'll be kind of the past. It's kind of weird how that works. But that is actually going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. I've been Baller Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by our suddenly regre regretting her relationships squad. I failed that one, but so did she. Of Xion. Pretty much just Xion. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.